Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton. It is time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television and we do a few reality shows on the side. And one of those daytime TV shows that we're doing is General Hospital. But before we get into General Hospital, I got I need a drink. I need a drink bad. I got this Bacardi all ready to mix, ready to drink, um, already pre-mixed uh, Mai Tai. Looking heavenly, it's great. So as you can see, I'm in a hotel room right now, so I'm in Sedona, Arizona. And uh, I left Las Vegas this afternoon. And I was doing fine though, until I hit maybe Kingman, Arizona. And then it just snowed. I mean, just snowed the rest of the way. <laughs> and if anyone knows me personally, you know I fucking hate snow. I hate snow with a passion. And then I was on highway, I think it's highway 89A into Sedona. And I swear to God, like it was the curviest, windiest, two lane highway, one way, one lane each direction. No median. I mean, I was terrified that I was going to either get bulldozed over or I was going to drive off a cliff somewhere and uh, whatever but I'm fine I'm here whatever okay all right so but that's that I just felt like I I just felt like bitching you know I like to just bitch sometimes you know okay so general hospital so here's the thing with general hospital general hospital well first of all they're doing well uh, Here's something that you should take with a grain of salt. You know, General Hospital is doing very good in the ratings lately with the key demographics. Not necessarily with overall ratings, but with key demographics. But then again, and this is why I say to take this with a grain of salt, because I could make up a key demographic and anyone could, I, and I could, I could basically skew my results for any of the four shows. So I don't really see that that necessarily says that much, right? Anyways, so they're doing a story right now on General Hospital. Well, first of all, you know, Nathan West, you know, he had his funeral last week. And at the end of last week, uh, it, it, we left the show with Maxie ripping Lulu to shreds. And, you know, that was just a little bit. When it came back on Monday, ooh, she let her have it. She let her have it with both barrels right between the eyes. I was like, okay, girl, you better get it. She was, she was pissed. But, you know, like I said, as even though Lulu was devastated that Maxie hates her, I mean, she, Maxie does kind of sort of have a point. I'm sorry. She, she does, actually, in this instance. Um... And Nina, oh my God, she's fantastic as well. And so is oh, Amy Driscoll. I mean, oh, such good job. I mean, everyone gave such good performances. Oh my God, Peter August showed up to the funeral and he was like, he was standing in the back though, so no one knew he was there, but he was totally crying and he had this whole monologue. Oh my God, he did, actually, he did a very good job. Here's the thing. You know, people, you know, because he is uh, Carly's boyfriend in real life. And he was her boyfriend before he came on the show. And now he's on the show. And I got to say, he, I, I would give him a job even if he wasn't Carly's boyfriend. I think because he is, he's a really good actor. He was really good. Like, I mean, he was totally, like, giving you emotions. Oh, my God. You know who else? Okay, wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so, also... They, uh, they're doing this story with Mike Corbin, a.k.a. Sonny Corinthos' father. And here's the thing about that. They're doing a story with him, and it looks like it's going to be a, an Alzheimer's story. And the only thing that makes me nervous about that is that Young and the Restless right now is doing the Alzheimer's story with Dina Mergeron, and they're knocking that shit out of the park. So... I always like to warn the soap opera head writers not to copy another show in a storyline that's currently airing. 
right? Because when you do that, I mean, it's bad enough to copy another show storyline anyways, but I mean, it's daytime television, you know, these shows have been on for decades, so what can you do, right? I mean, when the youngest show has been on for 30 years, that's all I've got to say. Shout out to Bold and Beautiful. Okay, so... I don't know if it is going to be Alzheimer's because they haven't given him a diagnosis of that yet, but it looks like it's going to be that. So if it is, you know, like I said, they really better fucking bring it with the storytelling because Dina Mergeron is is killing it with that story. I mean, she is doing such a good job. And, and all of the Abbots around her, I mean, which is Young and the Restless. But I, I, I felt like I wanted to bring this up yesterday, but I felt like because it's a Mike story and it's a general hospital story that I was going to bring it up in general hospital. So we'll see what happens. But I'm definitely very excited about, um, I mean, just the show in general. It's doing a very good job. Uh, and they've got, I've got a lot, I've got, I've got a lot of things coming up um, in the pipeline for both General Hospital and Bold and the Beautiful, and I will give you some more details about that in a little a little bit later. Oh my gosh, uh, why is my neck all wrinkled? Don't you don't you dare say because I'm old. Fuck you. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, Okay, so here's another thing that I just... Well, first of all, wait. I've got to say, I I'm sort of enjoying Alexis and Finn together. Now, granted, it's not Griff Exus, because I would love to see Alexis and Griffin cook up, but, uh, you know, I think it's, it's fine, you know, and they're a little bit more age-appropriate than Griffin and Alexis, which I actually would enjoy, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I think it would be a really good look for her to date someone besides Julian. And Julian's kind of getting friendly with Kim, so that's great. It's it's time to break them up. I mean, I'm sorry. I know all you do Lexus people out there are going to hate me, I know. But here's the thing. When you're tied too much to one person, then if that person leaves, then you're fired. And that's not ever a good look on anyone. Employment is always good. I need a haircut. Okay. Um, so here's another thing. You know, Ava Jerome has got uh, varying shades of gray. Like, even though she's <coughs> mostly a bad girl, she does some things that are actually very selfless and it makes you like her, or at least root for her, right? Well, here's the thing. Now, not so much. Now, I do enjoy that they um, kind of struck up a friendship between Nell and Monica. That's That actually I'm happy about, because that's actually good, because anything that gives, brings Monica on screen, I fucking love Monica. I have loved Monica since the 80s. I love her. She is phenomenal. So I am okay with this. And because it gave us this scene, it was either on Thursday or Friday show, where she uh, went over to um, Sonny's house to see Carly. And she was like, have you never seen this place before? She's like, no, I've never, I haven't been here since Sonny killed my son. Now at first I thought she was talking about Jason. Because if you think about it, metaphorically speaking, Sonny did sort of kill Jason when he, or the old Jason Quartermain when uh, Jason Morgan was born and went to go work for Sonny. But she was actually talking about AJ, which makes perfect sense. So I love that. I love uses of history in a show. Shows that make you remember stuff like that, I think it's phenomenal. That's a great job. So, kudos to you, General Hospital. Very nice. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all that really happened this past week on General Hospital. So, I'm definitely, you know, so, like, I'm definitely looking forward to this Alzheimer's-ish story. I don't know if that's what it actually is or not, but we'll see how it, how it plays out. I hope they do a really good job with it. They'll probably do a decent job with it, but I, I bet, but still, the thing is, is 
going on at the same time as the Dina Mergeron story. I feel like it's going to be like, you know, and granted, one's a man, one's a woman, so it's not like they're going to be in the same any category, but still, I mean... Anyways, thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. I'm going to try to have some more of this my time, then I'm going to bed. Have a wonderful night. Peace out. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Angel Benton. And you can hashtag uh, GH to talk General Hospital, or you can also hashtag Amazing Race to talk the Amazing Race. I'm going to be doing that next, maybe tomorrow morning, maybe tomorrow night. We'll see. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing it today. And you can also... Hit that YouTube, uh, hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel to get my YouTube video sent to your email inbox every single day. And while you're there, you can look around my channel for the my show Storytime with Angel Benton where I tell stories all about my life. All right, everyone, have a great day. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.